It's not DNS. There's no way it's DNS. It was DNS. A haiku for your enjoyment. So what happened to AWS? They say that when a complex system fails, it's never just one thing. So with the big AWS outage, it seemed like it was just one thing. There was a process where they were trying to update a very, very important DNS record and two processes tried to do it at the same time and ended up clearing it out. All sorts of systems that depended on that being right were broken, including the systems that would allow them to correct it are also broken. It ended up sort of cascading into this 15, 16 hour outage that affected a ton of companies like Canvas. So people couldn't do school stuff. Yeah. Duolingo. That could be the end of a streak. This is I, a big deal. I'm guessing they took care of that at Duolingo, but I'm not, not exactly sure. It was a big deal. So this simple thing of putting in a bad DNS record ended up being a billion dollar mistake. One bug is able to do all that damage? <laughs> it seems like it should be impossible. And I think I mean, going back a number of years, this sort of thing used to happen a lot with BGP where somebody would just advertise like a range of IP addresses that they really shouldn't have. BGP is the routing protocol. All the routers talk to each other with this BGP protocol to figure out where is that address. You go on there and start saying, I have all of Cloudflare's IPs because they're at my house. They're not, but that could go out and propagate and all of a sudden all of Cloudflare would be down or something like that. Or something. Several times China would, we think accidentally, right. took huge sections of the United States IP addresses and it probably was a mistake, but got everybody thinking. So they just sort of put in safeguards. So instead of trusting that and they'd look and say, I don't think this is a valid update. I'm just not going to trust it. The fact that there's a haiku about it always being the cause of the problems kind of makes me think that it's probably due for something like that. And, right. and a lot of the DNS security, not so much with that in mind, the sort of oopsie clearing out a record and bringing down a big chunk of the internet for 16 hours isn't really at the heart of a lot of the efforts to improve DNS. In conclusion, I want you to subscribe.